Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back to part 6 of Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. And first things first, let's get this treasure chest. Can't get this treasure chest. Okay, let's talk to Yuffie instead. Here we go. Okay, the keyblade can open locks. Apparently not that treasure chest. Let's talk to Leon. Sooner or later, the Heartless will find you. You best prepare myself. Uh, yeah, I'm ready for a fight. Let's go. I, I'm actually not ready for a fight. But, uh... Yuffie. But hopefully, well, maybe we'll... Hey, what do you know? They're in the room right next to us. Yeah, so if you couldn't tell, we actually couldn't go in these rooms. We're actually in the hotel right now. So kind of cool. This We were in the green room. They were in the red room. And now you can actually access the rooms, and there'll be different enemies in them. So pretty cool. Pretty cool. And right now, I don't know if I mentioned this. This song is Night of Fate. I love this song so much. Uh, I you can't even I can't even tell you how much this song like I really enjoy this song. There's a second song. This is one of the heartless um, battle themes. There's a second song that you'll hear later in the game, or not, in Kingdom Hearts 2 rather, called Tension Rising, which is the theme for the enemies of that game. You know the the lesser mookish enemies of that game, and that theme I love so much as well. Uh, this game just has these. This series is a really good way with. Battle themes. Can I, let's get up here. Can I, can I get up here? Because I'm gonna die. It's only been like 30 seconds into the video and I'm already dying. This is embarrassing. Yeah, I'm totally dead. I'm totally, totally dead. Can we go back in some. I, I just wanna save right now. Not even save. Ooh, treasure chest. Let's get that. Oh boy. Oh boy. Get back. I just need some health. Can I get some health, please? Can a brother get some health, please? I said please. I swear, I'm making this game look so much harder than it really is. Alright, there we go. Some health. At least a little bit. I don't think it's going to save us from anything, but... Stop this beeping, hopefully. I can't believe it's only been like two minutes and... Can I get a potion? Thank you. We're going to save that, actually. Let's go back in the second district. Follow Leon. I really should have taken some time to grind. Uh, he calls them small fry, but these guys are actually kind of hard right now. If you're not leveled up and not about to die like I am, let's uh let's try to avoid these guys. The good thing is you get a lot of knockback on these enemies. Whoa! Come on now, come on now. You gotta be tripping. I swear. I, I swear the rest of the LP won't go like this. I promise you. Are you kidding me? Do I have to restart the whole cutscene and everything? No, I don't. Okay, good. Yeah, it does auto-save after every room. As far as um, continues are concerned. It won't actually auto-save your game, but it does auto-save after every room. And actually, let's get a little... Let's see if we can get a little bit of experience on these guys. I'll beat you up in the corner. See, that's crazy how much damage that does. That's insane. I'm dead. I'm dead. Yep, I'm dead. I'm about to die one more time. Come on, get that, get, the, get that potion. Okay, good. I want the drops from these guys, but it's like I don't want to fight them. Yeah, I'm dead. I'm totally dead. I'm totally dead. I'm totally dead. Let's go back in the alleyway. Oh boy, this is not going well at all. Three minutes in, and we are. I'm gonna use the potion. I'm gonna use the potion. I'm not even tricking. How much experience do we need to get to the next level? Six experience, that's it? Okay, we're gonna fight till we get to the next level and then follow Leon wherever Leon went off to. All right, luckily the Heartless don't auto respawn. So like once you beat the Heartless in a room, they won't respawn for a little bit of time. It's, I don't think it's like every time you enter the room, but it's definitely, as you saw, we only had the one that we didn't finish off there. So, very helpful. Should be some more that spawn right here, yep. Come on now. It's like, at this point, you really are, you're vanilla sore right now. Thank you. Max HP and we got an ability. Stun impact. You're going to get in abilities as you go through the game uh, based on various levels. Like I said, depending on what you picked first, whether it's the, it has to do with b both the magic rod, sword, and shield that you picked, as well as the questions that you answered. Not equip. We're going to go to abilities. And Sun Impact. So here we have the screen I have it shows you. You have AP for Sora and you have abilities. 
So in this game, you get the auto ability EXP zero, meaning you won't get any experience points. If you want to do a low level run or a no level run, you know, have at that. I will not be doing that. But stun impact, we'll equip that. It says you have a 30% chance of unleashing a finishing combo attack that renders surrounding of enemies unconscious. So very useful. Uh, various attacks in the game you can complete by pressing the triangle button. Uh, so, you know, very useful. The triangle button, as I said, it's the action. It was the action key from there. There was stun impact for you. And as you can tell, the heart is now stunned. So very useful. I've actually, see, I never picked a magic rod, so I never really get that ability first. So pretty neat. Pretty neat. And we should be following to, or here's Leon. But actually what I want to do first, let's hop down here. Not up there. Yeah, it's kind of cool. You can platform in this game. You can run on stuff. It, it's pretty crazy, but we're actually going to go to the mailbox. And let's mail that postcard. Do we? There we go. Get a cottage. So you can use that to heal up, much like in Final Fantasy. Uh, let's talk to Aerith since she's right here. So you're the Keyblade Master. Please be careful. Thank you, Aerith. You're such a wonderful person. I appreciate that. And Yuffie. The first district is all clear, but I don't know about the third district. Yeah, don't go there just yet. Let's go back and talk to Leon. And actually, is this the item shop? Yes, let's go in the item shop. We haven't been in here yet. So here we go. We have Trio. Uh, where are their names? I can't remember their names. I'll put in the annotation. But they're, you know, Goofy's nephews, I believe. Or excuse me, Donald's nephews. So nice to see them there. Um, we have how much money? We have enough for two potions. So I'm going to buy two potions because we'll get plenty of money later in the game. And you can talk to these guys to see. We're going to earn enough money to go on our own adventure. Sounds like a plan. <laughs> That's funny. Keeping the shop clean is easier than cleaning your bedrooms. Well, I'd imagine you guys are probably some messy little, messy little kids. And back up to Leon. I'm sure he has something important to say. Because doesn't he always? Let's see. All right, so yeah, the first district is secure. Ooh, a treasure chest. Let's see, can we open this? Yes, we can. And we get another postcard. Very nice. Let's go mail that right away. So yeah, now we have to head off to the third district, which is right by Yuffie. But let's mail this postcard. And we get a mithril shard, another item that we'll learn more about later. And do I actually want to save right now? You know what? No, we're fine. Oh, can't go this way. All right. Can't get through here? Okay, so I have to cut across the third district. Second district, excuse me. So let's backtrack and head back up this way. It's kind of cool, all the pedestrians have actually gone inside because the Heartless are spilling out everywhere. So it's really neat to see when, you know, characters actually pay attention to their surroundings. Um, you know, kind of like in Grand Theft Auto, if you shoot someone and people start running. Same thing, the Heartless come out and the NPCs went inside. Went inside. So very helpful. And stun impact. I'm loving this right now. It's only a 30% chance of happening, but that is plenty enough for these Heartless. Yeah, so definitely, as I was saying, as you get more abilities, you definitely will notice the game becoming easier and easier. And even when, even in proud mode, you know, the, the start of the game is always pretty tough for me at least. I don't know about anyone else, but I always have trouble with the start of the game just because you have no abilities and you're really, you're, you're just weak, all around weak. So, especially if you don't pick the uh, pick the sword for the shield. But yeah, stun impact. Wow, that is amazing. I'm loving that. It's so helpful. Sadly, it does not work against bosses, so keep that in mind if you're going to play fight once you get to a boss. Which we should be coming up to pretty soon. Uh, won't be as lucky with that. Let's collect all our money and go through the gizmo shop once again. Um, I'm trying to remember what these enemies are called. They have a name. Every enemy has a name in this game. And there's actually a beast here. Do we have access to that? No, not yet. So you will be able to tell what en enemies you fought. And how I think even how many enemies, which is pretty cool. And can we go up here yet? Not yet. How are you supposed to get to the uh, third district? Here we go. Is it this door? Is it this door? This is the door you want. No, it's not that door. Well, this is embarrassing. This is pretty sad. Am I going to die again? I can't die twice in one episode. 
At least not on regular. Regular, at least. Let's actually go in the Dalmatian's house since we're here. Maybe we'll get to talk to Pongo and Perdita. They can let us in on what's going down. Okay, so 99 puppies are lost amid the destruction of the world. So let's try to find them. Yeah, they're pretty gloomy. But it's kind of cool. You can actually run through their apartment. They have various rooms, and you'll find as you collect the puppies, they will fill up the house. So it's really neat. Um, but and you'll also get various items. And there is a really good prize for getting all 99 puppies. So we will try to do that by the time we get to the end of the game. Yes, that happened. Second death. And yes, this is still going on YouTube. <laughs> I'm not ashamed, even though I should be. But uh, we're only 10 minutes in, so we still have plenty of time left. And luckily, we just went in that door, so should save all of our progress up till then. And now it's, we're not even playing anymore. It's, it's, it's gotten so real right now. I might just cut out some of these battles. Like I think this is the way. This should be the way. Please be the way. All right, don't die, just don't die here. This is the what? As you can tell by that door sign, this is the start of the third district. And that took way longer than it needed to. Come on now. Die, die, die. Okay, great. We have a spirit shard, some money, some HP. I'm gonna use a potion, because I'm too lazy to go back and heal. And we are now at the third district. But we will head in there next time on Let's Play Kingdom Hearts. This has been Part 6. Stay tuned and we'll head into the 3rd District. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.